Central areas of Korea bore the brunt of this year's monsoon rain. Heavy damages were reported in Cheongju as it continued to pour down over the weekend. Cha Sang-mi, give us the updates. A record amount of rain hit the central city of Cheongju, capital of Chungcheongbukdo province, on Sunday. The downpour claimed two lives and left over 500 victims who suffered from injuries or had property damaged by the floods. Over 290 millimeters of rain poured continuously from early in the morning to around 3 p.m., triggering a rapid rise in the levels of local streams as well as landslides near downtown Cheongju. The Korea Meteorological Administration issued a heavy rain advisory as the rain reached over 90 millimeters per hour. The last time the city received such a heavy deluge of rain was 22 years ago in August 1995. All trains and buses stopped running, and residential buildings, markets, factories, and schools were all flooded. An underground parking lot and an outdoor car rental store near Songnam Stream, among the worst hit by the floods, leaving all the car service centers nearby crowded with damaged cars. Residents of apartments near the flooded areas escaped after hearing the building's evacuation alarms. When they returned the next day, their homes had their electricity and water cut off. The water deluged the parking lot over there, and I could only see the car rooftops. A little later, that water began flooding our apartment. Fortunately, the torrential rain had stopped for now, and the restoration operation is underway, but the residents and local business owners are dismayed at the sight of their damaged properties. The water poured in like a tsunami. It reached my shoulder height. I couldn't get into my restaurant, so I waited for an hour, and once I went in, all the household items and furniture had fallen over. It was a chaos. This area had not seen such torrential downpours in well over 20 years. Although the water level has since gone down, there is still a lot of cleaning up to be done. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.